took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town and when he had spit on his eyes somebody say he spit on his eyes and put his hand upon him he asked him if he saw aught and he looked up and said I see men as trees walking after that he put his hand again upon his eyes and made him look up and he was restored somebody say he was restored and saw every man clearly and he sent him away to his house saying neither go into thy town nor tell it to any in the town underline that and Jesus went out and his disciple into the towns of Caesarea Philippi and by the way he asked his disciples saying unto, the, unto them whom do men say that I am and they answered John the Baptist but some say Elias and others one of the prophets and he said unto them, But to whom ye say that I am? And Peter answered and said unto him, Thou art Christ. Verse 30, everybody. And he charged them that they should tell no one. Can you tell somebody? Say, Don't tell anyone. I'm sharing with you this morning on the topic Break out to breakthrough. Can you help me look at somebody say break out to break through say to another person say break out to break through father i ask you breathe on your word i disappear jesus appear let the voice not be my voice let it be your voice spirit of the living god move through my vocal cord to bless everyone under the sound of my voice and as many that hear the sound of my voice Spirit of the Lord, I disappear that you may appear. Lord, let me not be seen, but you alone be seen and be glorified. Holy Spirit, from the puppy to the pew, let your grace and your fire come down. Bless somebody that is watching via internet. Bless those that are seated under the sound of my voice. Let there be transformation, healing and deliverance. And after now, let somebody have testimonies. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Can your amen be the loudest? Can you highlight to somebody by yourself and say, break out to break through? Look at another person, shout it to him and say, break out to break through. Say to yourself now audibly, say, break out to break through. Praise the Lord. To break out means to forcefully escape, and to break through means. To change the course of your life going forward and making sure that things never remain the same again. I said to break out means to forcefully escape. Somebody say forcefully. Escape. And to break through means to change the course of your life going forward and making sure that nothing remains the same again. So what am I preaching? I'm preaching about forcefully escape to change the course of your life and going forward henceforth without making, by making sure that things never remain the same again. Number two, it means to vehemently detach yourself or aggressively detaching yourself from whatever that kept you in prison, whatever that has kept your life in bondage Whatever that has make you not to fulfill your destiny. To vehemently detach yourself. Aggressively breaking out of that thing. There is somebody here. You are breaking out of every satanic hold on your life in the name of Jesus. Whatever that make your life resemble the life of a failure. If your amen is loud, you are breaking out today in the name of Jesus. Whatever that kept every member of your family in bondage. Today you will be the first to break out. You will be the first to do the unusual. You will be a pathfinder. 
you will be a trailblazer I'm taught I'm preaching to somebody I say you will be the trailblazer in your family where your parents couldn't reach if you say amen you will get there in a hurry the high the land that no man has ever experienced in your family you are getting there now in the name of Jesus sir life is either detestable or lovable I say life is either detestable or lovable or adorable to be detestable means life becoming loathsome, life becoming vile, life becoming unpleasant. You see things around your life you are not happy about. That means that kind of a life is a detestable life. The life that makes you angry each time you look at yourself. The life that makes you ask questions each time you look at your life. You see your mate progressing. You see people around your life, people behind you making it in life. But every time you look at your life, you are detest about the things that is happening. Sir, another kind of life is a life that is adorable. To be adorable means to be lovable. Ah, to be enchanting, to be pleasant. When you look at your life, everything is appealing. Everything is pleasant. You are excited. You are happy. You are praising God. Sir, such kind of life can only come by the kind of experience you have. So it is either detestable or adorable by your experience. Can I pray for you as you stretch your hand? I prophesy to somebody here. You will have a better experience. I didn't like that. Amen. I say life will become a good experience to you. When you hear people saying life is good, oh, I can't believe it's happening to me. When you hear people say, oh, I thank God for the kind of life I'm living. I'm enjoying my life. Sir, it is as a result of the experience. When they look at their life, everything is fine. But when you hear statements like, what am I living for? Oh yes, I feel like dying. Oh yes, what is happening around me, I can't even understand. It's also as a result of the experience they are having. Can I pray for somebody one more time? You will have a better experience. I say you will have a better experience in the name of Jesus. In that verse 22 of Mark chapter 8, that man had a better, I mean a bitter experience by the friends that he had. Mark chapter 8, look at verse 22. Mark 8, 22. Mark chapter 8 and verse, and he came to Bethsaida and they bring a blind man unto him and besought him to beg it, to, 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 to heal him. They pray Jesus, sir, I want to be healed. I saw another scripture in Matthew chapter 9, verse 27 to verse 29. Mark chapter 9, verse 27. Look at it. And when Jesus departed, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Another blind man wanted his eyes to be open. He was crying in John chapter 9. Another scripture, John chapter 9, from verse 1 to verse 7. John chapter 9, verse 1 to 7. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. Next verse. And his disciple asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parent, that he was born blind? Go to the next verse. Jesus answered, Neither at this man sin, nor his spirit, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Next verse. I must walk the works of him that sent me. While it is day, the night come when no man can walk. What did Jesus do in verse 5? And as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Verse 6. 
when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made the clay of the spittle and he anointed the eyes of the man that was blind. Now go back to verse 22 of Mark chapter 8. Mark chapter 8. I've shown you different men in the Bible. Now look at this one, verse 22. Can we read it? And he cometh to Bethsaida and they bring a blind man unto him and besought him to touch him. Another word for besought. Do we have another translation, please? Another translation. Thank you, media. They came, then they came to Bethsaida. They brought a blind man to him and begged him. Why will they beg him? The reason why they have to beg Jesus because they saw that the man had no expectation. Many times we don't get blessed by God because we lack expectation. It is a fact that you are in the church now, but you are not expecting anything from God. Are you getting what I'm saying? All the blind men in the Bible, they were the one crying, I want my eyes to open, but this one, they have to start begging Jesus. Open his eye. One, it could be that he does not believe in Christ. Even though he was present, he doesn't have faith in Christ. Number two, it is because they find out that he has been a pain in the neck to them. Even though he does not take care of his own responsibility as a blind man, they saw him as a pain in the neck. Sometimes it is your expectation that brings about your manifestation. It is a fact that you are right to have a husband, but does your attitude show that you are expecting husband? It is a fact that you need a child. But with the kind of character you are displaying now, are you sure you are actually expecting a baby? <laughs> sir, can I shock you, sir? There was no expectation and desire from this man. And anytime there is lack of expectation, my friend, no matter how many pray prayer that is prayed, when you lack expectation, there cannot be manifestation. I'm praying for somebody here. May God bring you to the point where you have expectation in the name of Jesus. Many people have ended up in frustration in Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 18. Proverbs 23 and verse 18. Hear what the Bible says. Proverbs 23 verse 18. For then you will have a future and your hope will never fail. Your hope, even if you have a future, your hope is what will determine what will happen. No matter how many prophecy has come concerning your future, if you don't have hope, the future will fade. Hope is the manure that makes your destiny to grow. Another name for hope is expectation. How much hope do you have? Some people say, I want to travel abroad. It is not going to abroad that matter. Do you have hope that you will succeed there? Can I shock you? You cannot take a lizard out of Nigeria and it become an alligator. A lizard in Nigeria will be a lizard in London. Expectation! What is the level of your expectation as you are seated? You can see some people don't have expectation. While others are writing, they are just looking around. What are they writing? Is it jam? Is it wire? You know a man, a woman that is going somewhere by the way they are preparing for their future. Am I talking to somebody? You just entered a relationship of a week. You have started demanding for things that you are not supposed to demand in six months time. It shows you are not expecting that relationship to become a marriage. You just enter an office today and you saw those who are in that office for five years and you want to start competing with those who have been in five years in that office. It shows that you don't have a future. You just come there to steal. Oh, somebody is not getting the message. The Bible said they have to beg Jesus. Please open his eyes. Bartimaeus was the one who cried out. But this man, they start begging Jesus. Why will you beg a man who can help you? The reason why your helper is not looking at you is because you are acting like a leper. Somebody, I'm praying for you today. May your expectation be alive. Sir, when you don't have hope, you can't be helped. The most helpless person in life is a hopeless person. When you are hopeless, you are helpless. 
Yes, 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 yes. If you live in Lagos, you can't succeed. You can't go to Delta State and survive. Am I talking to somebody? You can't go to Anambra State and make it. If you live in Lagos and you cannot make it, you can't go to Manchester and survive because Lagos is a training ground. If you lack expectation there, you will get frustration in that place. I pray for you today. May you survive in the name of Jesus. May you succeed in the name of Jesus. Let me tell somebody, say, if you are hopeless, you are helpless. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 20 the Bible said to him who can do exceeding abundantly according to the power that work in you there should be a power there should be an expectation my friend when you lack expectation you die of frustration when you don't have anything inside you can't produce anything inside outside am I talking to somebody here what is your level of expectation it is not about pastor lay hands on me it is not about pastor anoint my head. The truth of the matter is, after the anointing, do you have the expectation that it will work? Oh my God, somebody's not hearing. It's not the situation in your life. It's not the problem that faces you, my friend. It is your level of expectation that is issue. It's not that there are no ladies that want to marry you. But the way you are acting does not show you like a man who wants to settle. Am I talking to somebody? There are people who will remain childless, who will remain jobless, who will remain sick, who will never get up, who will never become somebody. My friend, not because there is no power to heal them, not because there is no power to turn their life around, but their expectation is in zero level. Hallelujah. Are you still here, sir? It is not because it is impossible for God to heal you. It is not because you are not, you are not fruitful enough. But the problem you have is that you lack expectations. Matthew chapter 9 verse 29 verse 27. Matthew chapter 9 verse 27. When Jesus was about to open the eye of the blind man. Hear what Jesus said. And when Jesus departed thanks, two blind men followed him. Crying and saying, thou son of David, have mercy on us. Go to the next verse. Look at what Jesus And when he was come into the house, the blind man came to him. And Jesus said unto them, believe ye. Do you have expectation that I am able to do it? It's not that I cannot do it. But do you have expectation that I have the capacity? It's not about relocation. Do you have expectation that where you are going, you will succeed? Hallelujah. It's not about changing job. Do you have expectation? Jesus said, do you believe? Because anything you don't believe, you can never become it. Oh, I feel like changing my job. I know when I change my job. Oh, I feel like changing my friend. I know when I change my friend. Anybody can change anything, but if your mind does not change, you can't change anything. The reason why people are failing in life and what they do is because they are trying to write a new exam with old information. How can you pass an exam with the curriculum that made you to fail before? Until your syllabus is changed, your life cannot move forward. Let me slap your neighbor and say, change your syllabus. So that your life can change. Praise God. We are men who are lazy. We are people who are lazy. We are people who are not sincere and disciplined about their lives. And then they want a, a sporadic change. They are praying, Father, you are, you are want your unstoppable program. It is a fact. Every man is qualified. But the truth of the matter, it is your expectation that determines your qualification. Or your disqualification. Hallelujah. In Mark chapter 10, verse 52. Mark chapter 10. When hear what Jesus told Bartimaeus. Mark chapter 10 verse 52 Jesus said look can you see it up and Jesus said unto him go thy way thy faith another word for faith is thy expectation as made thee whole it is not my prayer alone it is my prayer plus your expectation if I'm praying you don't expect anything you can't experience anything when a man does not expect anything, he can never experience anything. Excuse me. If like Archbishop Itaosa wake up today and lay hands on you, nothing happens until something happens on your inside. Tell somebody your expectation. They have to beg Jesus. Sir, open his eye. Do you know why? That man does not believe his eye will ever open. 
As you are now, how many of you believe that this year you are going to settle down marital? How many of you believe that God can still make a millionaire out of you? Because all you are listening to, you are listening to one side of the story. You are not balancing it with what is in your heart. People are telling you, come over. But they are not telling you to change over. Because if there is light in the environment, they call it change over. If there is a light around and you don't change over, you won't get whatever light that is available. Am I right? So tell your neighbor, say change over. Before you go over. I told you of the story of a man who was sent abroad. He has pestered his parents. I want to go to UK. I will make it in UK. The parents were telling him, you didn't make it in Nigeria. How do you know you make it in UK? They told him about the bills. He kept pestering them. And because they were very successful, they sent him abroad. One month, he started pestering his parents. Ah, 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 ah. I'm broke now. I've not gotten a job. Do you know for the whole years this man stayed, about 10 years, they were sending his feeding money, breakfast, lunch, dinner for Nigeria. All through his stay, they had to send him ticket money to come back and go and learn how to repair television in Alaba. My friend, it is your expectation that determines your manifestation. Stop disturbing people around your life when you are not sincere to make a, a, an effort in your life. Stop, make, stop making it look like God does not answer your prayer. Stop making it look like your pastor is not anointed. My friend, it is what is in your heart that is bringing what is in your life. Any man that carries you, you have become a liability box. I want to change my pants. You don't have panty before. He said, I'm looking for a white material. You are becoming a liability. Your own is chingom and pepper soup. You have a chingom and pepper soup uh, mentality. And you are trusting God to have a husband. You can't have one. Until your expectation changes. Hallelujah. Then we start rebooking the people that are innocent in your village. We start binding innocent women that are going to farm from money to night. Imagine you binding them. Not knowing that you lack expectations. Praise the Lord. People who have no expectation always have a few, a pointed accusing fingers to people. The people in the village they are too busy. When they leave as early as what time, Pastor? What time did they go to farm in the village? Eh? As early as six. What time did they come back? Eh? Please tell me the time they have for you. Just tell me the time they have for you. After they have done all kinds of riches, plant all kinds of things, they are very tired. And you are here misbehaving. And you are calling their name. My mother, sister, my father, this one. I bind them in the name of Jesus. You are binding innocent people. When you know it is you that have no character. When you know it is you that have long throat. They took you out. You say you want something light. You carry three light on back when you are going back. Don't you know you have problem? Hallelujah. Let me tell your neighbor, say they are innocent. Oh, you are not talking. Say they are innocent. They are innocent. That your auntie is innocent. That your brother is innocent. We know there are some of them that are evil. But the truth of the matter is, have you checked your own life? They gave you money as a business person, as an work person. You chop the money. You said then they follow me. Who they follow you? It's longer throat. You have no expectation to make it. They have to beg Jesus. Ha. May they not beg Jesus on your behalf. I don't like that amen. I do not like your amen. Sir, many of us, our life, 
we have seen so many things we have our life and our psychology have been affected by many things many of us we came from a house that is from a broken home when you came from a broken home all your mindset you have no expectation in marriage anytime they talk about marriage he said no 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 i know what my auntie suffer even my mother i know what she suffer oh yes that is because of the mentality of what you have gone through it becomes and form a part of your psychology there are many of us we grew up from a poverty home where everybody have to share meat about nine of you have to share meat with teeth you say say ah you don't chop and finish oh yeah give me one you not carry the one your mouth and point the man like a dog mentality hallelujah some grew up among struggling you have never enjoyed respite all through your growing up they took you to private school you ended up in public school because your parents cannot afford private school so you grew up with that mentality that nothing comes easy oh my god some grew up in an environment where they wake up with quarry they go with quarry they will wake them up say you know yes they fight outside they don't they beat your mama what do they do and then in the night they have to tell them go in and go inside we'll go settle land tomorrow morning so you grow up with that kind of mentality when jesus saw the kind of nature you know he's gone how can they be begging me for this man Look at the next verse. Verse 23. See what Jesus did. Verse 23. Mark chapter 8. Read it, everybody. And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. It's okay. Jesus knew that his problem was foundation. Many of you, what is wrong with you is foundational. The Bible says he led him out. I've never read anywhere in the Bible where Jesus carried somebody out. The Bible says in Psalm 24, is the, the Lord, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. He owns everything. He said, but before I can heal you, I have to carry out of foundation. He took him out of Aquaibo. Out of Newe. Took him out of Oyo. Took him out of Ibadan. And took him to Lagos. Praise the Lord. Some people were taken out of Lagos. So he knew very well that the problem is foundation. He, he, did you read what he said? And he took the blind man out. He didn't heal him in that land. Some of you, you need to get out for you to break through. Break out! You need to escape what kept your parents in prison. Oh my God, somebody is not hearing me. The Bible says he took him out. And Jesus took him out. Can you tell somebody to say Jesus took him out? Shout it to somebody say Jesus took him out. Highlight to somebody say Jesus took him out. Many times our problem is due to the way our mind is being processed. What kind of process does your mind go through? You cannot expect a child whose mother has left her from two years to be a, a girl who will become a lovable wife. Am I talking to somebody? Anytime you see a young girl who is looking for love, everything a man is doing to her, she will be going from this man, jumping to another man, jumping to another man. Do you know why? She's searching for love that the mother couldn't give her. She's searching for love that the father couldn't give her. So every man that comes, once she hear, I love you, because that was what is missing. She will jump after the man. Jesus have to take them out. There are some lady this morning. May Jesus bring you out. Amen. Of every lies. May Jesus bring you out. Amen. Of every deceit. May Jesus bring you out. Amen. Of every satanic manipulation. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are saying amen, let it be louder. Amen. That is why he said by their fruit. A young girl who live closer to another young girl whose families are together every time the father will carry her to school and she, she will have to enter the rain and the grandmother said oh, she did I send your mother to leave your father I beg, come out the bitterness and the search of love will make her or make him to always wanting to be loved don't be quick to judge somebody oh she's a flat she's looking for love that she never had don't be quick to conclude about a brother's life. It's unstable. My friend, look at their foundation before you judge their manifestation. Hallelujah. Jesus said, come out. Give me your hand. 
Jesus took her, took him out. Because in that place, no matter what he, Jesus prayed, there are powers around that will allow you to walk. Sit down. There are forces around that will affect his destiny. So before Jesus could perform any miracle, he said, Oga, follow me. Foundation, I they worry you. Can you help me tell your neighbor, say, Foundation, they worry you. Oh, you don't know? You think some people are just unnecessarily angry? They plant, they use their leg to scatter it. It is foundation. Praise the Lord. When somebody is on that foundation, he's ready to destroy everything. No matter what the person do, his condition remains permanently the same. I'm sure that man must have gone to different crusade. And nothing happens. And those prophets does not know it was foundation. So when they pray, he remain more blind. He become more blinded more. So when they told him about Jesus, he said, how did crusade when I carry me go wait here? I even pay money to see prophet. You know some people, you pay money to see prophet now. If you want to see him sharp, sharp, 45,300. Those of you who are paid, you know now, you know. If not, lie, ask your neighbor. If you want to see him on Wednesday, which is not on Monday, you pay 33,250. The 250 is for the, 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 the protocol. Praise the Lord. But all the sin that you have been seeing, what happened? They recommend different kind of bath. Coconut bath. Midnight bath. Shawarma bath. When a man run out of idea, he will invent something. We were praying so many years ago for a man who has been in Nigeria who wants to travel. About six of us, or if not mother. We started praying. So we started asking, what did the Lord show you? A man that was in that meeting, he didn't see anything. He was a Muslim who just got converted. He said, me too, I see something. I said, brother John, you didn't see anything. He said, why everybody they talk, they see. Me, I don't go see. Okay, what do you see? He said, I saw PDP. <laughs> PDP, they wrote PDP on a horse. And the man sat on it. The man we are praying for. And what he was going for, they gave it to him. I said, sir, don't believe his prophecy. I said, there is no way there. But because people want to hear what their ear want to hear. He went with the revelation of PDP. Guess what? They failed him. When he came the next day, he said, Ah, hey, then so bad, I don't know, Brad John. I said, I told you he didn't see anything. And I called Brad John. He said, I said ah. He said, We all of them, all of them are the see. Me, I'm not going to see. So sometimes when you go somewhere, they must see something for you. Prophet, what did you see? If you don't see anything, we see something that will make you come back. I see your mother. Your mother tie your, tie your breast, tie them for her waist. She did suck your breast. Then you go home and look for matches and want to kill your mother. Let me tell somebody, say, be careful. Am I blessing somebody? Sir. She didn't kill you in one month, two months, three months. You were nine months, you were not aborted. How come the time you are born now? Some of you now you are holding your mother as a witch. You are running. You better go back and ask for forgiveness. It's not your mother. <laughs> Is somebody getting blessed at all? The Bible says Jesus took him out. There are many of you that need to come out from wrong foundation, wrong mentality. Binding innocent people for nothing. Putting them on premature death. Praise the Lord. There are many of us who do not understand that our problem is due to the process our mind has gone through. Sir, our assault comes from our it's not from most of our assault does not come from our source alone, but most of them also come from our source. Our background is the reason for being on the ground. And in Psalm 11 and verse 3, Psalm 11. You say, Come out of this foundation. Psalm 11, verse 3. Read it. If the foundation be destroyed. That's what Jesus told that man. 
You have been a blind man because you have been praying in a wrong foundation. People who are making you blind are the ones who are around your life. Now, the people who brought him, Jesus separated the man from them. Did you get it now? There was no record in the Bible that the man who brought him followed Jesus. There must be something Jesus told him. People where they kill you, now he carry you come. The Bible said the enemy of a man are the members of his household. See, the character that most of you are displaying is as a result of your foundation. And until you break away from foundation, you can never get manifestation. That's why I ask you to write the name of your village. Write the name of your family. Which some of you didn't write, but no problem. Those who write it will see testimony. In Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, the Bible said, do not conform, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. My friend, there are things that must be renewed in your life if you want to be free. There are situations that must take place in your life. Ah, you cannot experience a new thing by living an old life. You can't be living with old pattern. You tell lies. You jump on anything on skate and you want a breakthrough. Anybody who wants a, a new life must live, must live a new way. That's it, dude. Come out of the foundation. See, there are people you stay with, your destiny can never be revealed. They will conceal your destiny. I told a man many years. I can't remember the story now, but I remember I was living in a free house. Daddy, you won't believe it. So that they won't ask us for house rent. I say your destiny is doomed. They have collected the house rent before. In the realm of the spirit, you are paying. I said, do you have a job? He said, no. Do you get favor? He said, no. But the only thing is that God favored me with free house. I said, no. Devil favored you with free house to use your destiny to pay the rent. There is a restaurant I read on social media that said, eat free food. Your children, children will pay. So you go there and eat everything. And as you are going, they say, don't worry, your children will pay. You don't know when you live. The Bible says a good man leaves a good inheritance for his children. If what your father left for you is struggling, you need to break out. To break through. If it is a repetition of what he has gone through. Some of you now, you are recycling what your father has gone through. You are the experience of how your father suffered. Now it is replicating in your life. You are seeing the replicate. Everything you do now is struggle. Your job is one day on, seven months off. Your bank account is one day alert, five years no alert. Oh, you don't understand what is going on. And then you are like Martin Luther King. One day I have a dream. May you not be doomed before the dream will come. May you not be closer to the grave before the dream will be achieved. Of what benefit? When your dream begins to come to pass as 97, they not carry you to America. Burger, you know, be chop. Chicken, you know, be chop. God won't kill you. So of what benefit? Bible says, satisfy me early. The Bible says, Jesus took the man. Before your enemy will prevail over you, the Bible says, he took him out. And those who brought him were there. Everybody was there. Even the disciples. Jesus said, this matter, it is one-on-one. -on -one. That is the only time Jesus do one-on-one -on -one prophecy. Not the one they are doing in Nigeria. You want to see the prophet one-on-one. -on -one. All of you, you are seeing prophet one-on-one -on -one every time. Only one Jesus do one-on-one. -on -one. Say, come. Come out of the foundation. Do you know what Jesus did? The Bible said, he molded something to put in his eye. Because he has to recreate another. The one they do, they have collected all the eyes. They have eaten the eyes. So Jesus has to do another creation, a creative miracle. There are some people. Your problem is your problem has grown teeth. Your problem is like a native fowl. Very small but very old. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you carry native fowl, now you're going to know the weight. Your problem is native fowl. He says some people all oh, it's a Greek. A Greek, you just if you say, ah, this one get problem. No, your own way be native.
creating fire now you make it, the weight is heavy. Can you tell anybody your, your problem is native fire? And that is why it requires divine intervention. That is why it requires urgent attention. I'm praying for somebody today. Every problem that has grown it, I release fire upon that problem. Amen. Can I hear a big amen? Can your amen be louder than that? Amen. Nobody get a new result copying from old source. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 22. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 22. Hear what the Bible says. That ye put off concerning the former conversation. The old man. Put it off. There is a spirit that must be off your life before new one will come. He said, which is corrupt according to the, to, to the deceitful lust. Verse 23. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed. All this old young, new young festival mentality in your mind. Some of you, you are, a, you are a believer, but you have a native mind. I know if you Why? For our village, they never do new young festival. You are still a native doctor. You are a native doctor. Praise God. You know the time and season for traditions. In my village, nobody give, no woman give her husband food while standing. It is one cow. You are going to die of tradition. The cow will really not be the one to buy it. If she does not need that, it's two cows. That is the elders. Who are the elders? A young man like you are living an elder life. Praise God. you are coming out of it anything that kill your father you are coming out of it that death that person that sent your father to a family grave you will never end up that way amen i say you will never end up that way amen that broken will never be your portion amen that satanic scepter will never be your portion amen whatever that trap others will not trap you amen that disease and sickness will never stop your amen. life amen i'm preaching to you i said it will not stop your life amen what stop them will not stop you amen what kill them will not kill you amen what terminate them will not terminate amen. you amen as you rise you will never come down. amen as you are going with speed you will never be slow amen there shall be no roadblock in your life amen there shall be no speed breaker to your people amen in the name of jesus amen you will never have a still time amen you will never die prematurely amen you will not expire the way you Amen. The year, the month your father dies, you will not die that way. Amen. The age he expire, you will not expire like Amen. that. The sickness that kill you will not kill you. Amen. What stop your greatness will not stop your greatness. Amen. I prophesy to you here, Amen. you will not die Amen. like that. Amen. You will not be poor the way your parents are Amen. Died. You will not beg the way they beg. Amen. You will not expire the way they expire. Amen. You will terminate that will not terminate you. Amen. The failure of the experience, you will not experience Amen. It. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, you will rise and shine. Amen. Amen. You will break out and 
breakthrough. Amen. I say you will break out and breakthrough. Amen. In your business, you break out and breakthrough. Amen. In your career, you break out and breakthrough. Amen. In your marriage, you break out and breakthrough. Amen. In your finance, you break out and breakthrough. Amen. In your destiny, you break out and breakthrough. Amen. I say you will break out and breakthrough. Amen. Slap somebody say I will break out. I will break out. I will break through. I will break through. And God today say I will break out. I will break out. And I must break through. And I must break through. Three people say I will break out. I will break out. Now listen, if they don't come to you, go and tell them. Say I will break out. I will break out. And I will break through. And I will break through. Shah 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 go and tell them. I will break out. Make sure three. Make sure three. And I will break through. I will break out. And I will break through. That's so. Amen. Who told you you will not be a grandmother? Who told you you will not have a settled home? That's so. We see that decree that come to pass when the Lord commanded I it. Hear you, sir. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. They say your father started a beauty, he didn't complete. That won't be your person. Amen. The Bible says you are a peculiar person. Amen. A royal person. Amen. The Bible calls you a city that is set up. Amen. That be. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, here? sir. Whatever experience your father have, you will never have it. Amen. Am I talking to you? Yes, sir. Can your amen be louder? Amen. They say your parents do not have a good marriage. Who told you you will not have a good marriage? Tell somebody is a lie. It's a lie. Somebody get him blessed. Yes, sir. Tell somebody I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out. So that I can break through. So that I can break Shout through. Shout it to two more. Say I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out. Shout it with anger. Say I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out. And I'm going to break through. And I'm going to break through. Say it like we are calling it to your neighbor. Say I'm breaking out. I'm breaking out. And I will break through. And I will break through. So Jesus have to break him out. Before the breakthrough of the eye could come, there was a breaking away from foundation. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Can I talk to you? There are certain things that you will never experience a breakthrough from until you break out from them. I hear you, sir. There are relatives that need not to know your progress. There are friends that need not to have a detail of whatever progress you experience. Yes, sir. Hello. Huh? Until you are out from them, you cannot be free from what is holding them back. I hear you, sir. Can I say that again? Until you are out from them, you can never be free from what is holding them bound. Any little thing you call village. Mama Ekele, Mama Ekele is your mother's sister. Mama Ekele and Tim. Ndo, 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 and Tim. I just got a plot of land now. Hey, Chinekele. Chinekele. That Chinekele means that is the end. Chineke, you buy land. Chineke. Why will you buy land? Chineke. Why will you buy land? Are you, you are happy that design Chinekele? Praise God. There are people who must not know or have access to your progress so that they don't have access to your life. Once enemy have access to your progress, they have access to your destiny. There are people who live in Lagos. But village people have current affairs of their life. There are people who are in Lagos. Praise God. I just give birth to a bouncing baby boy. What name should I call him? They will not look for one yam in your village. They say, call him Ewura. Ishu Ewura. They say, what do you call him? He is the, the yam. That uh, it can be used for all, 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 all method. All purposes. Thank you. So your son's name is what? Somebody say Ewura. Now you now find out that when the child begin to grow, begin to have a purpose, smoke, he did there, fight, he did there, good thing, he did there. They don't even have a good record because his life is scattered. Be careful who you inform in the village about your progress in Lagos. The man just proposed to you, how come? That uncle let him, and the baby your man has already known, and he's pouring libation, and he's calling on the gods of Akwaibo, and begin to pour libation on your behalf. Begin to pour libation on your behalf, and then before you know it, the libation begin to affect his business. He begin to see your uncle in the dream, and begin to see you where you want to cut him with cutlass. And by the time the card is out, he says, I'm no longer interested. Is it the problem of that person? It is because your mouth cannot close. Any little progress in Lagos, every if you allowed it in the village. What is wrong with you? It's your foundation. Your 
of own progress is loud in the village more than loud in Lagos. Some of you, your wife doesn't even know what is going on. It's your siblings that are in the village that are telling your wife, Congratulations. Congratulations. Your wife says, For what? Congratulations. It is because of you are not mature. There are too many Christian babies in Nigeria. Babies who do not have 10 naira. When God gives them 5 naira, they announce to the people. They carry microphones and say, Testing village. Testing. Testing one, two. I just bought a land. Testing microphone. Many of you are the architect of your own downfall. Because one way or the other, people in village does not have secret. Are you never here? He just born a child. He just bought a land. He just bought a jeep. The wife just have that. They say, ah, that will be the last you will have. Then you now give your pastor in Lagos serious problem. They begin to bind and lose because you have not come out of the village. See, there are many people who look decent in Lagos, but their village, they have a village mind. They are traditional people. Ah, today you will receive baptism of fire. Amen. In Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 19. Jeremiah 16, verse 19. Hear what the Bible said. Oh Lord! My strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from these ends of the earth. Listen to this, and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. That is what father lived for many children. He said, There is no profit. Go to the next verse. Shall a man make gods unto himself? And they are not gods. Our fathers are the one who put us in this mess. I'm sure the father of that man must have said when they gave back to him, they said he was going to be the president. And all his family members, nobody has made it. They said we will blind, he will be a blind president. So when Jesus wants to heal him, Jesus saw his wife and said, come out. Your father has put you in problems, so come out of your foundation first. See, there are many prophecies that will hang until you come out of your, your father's foundation. Until you come out from where your mother has taken you to. Your mother is the one announcing to everybody. They say she carry glory. They say now president didn't go marry. And your auntie children are wayward. They are hearing, they are eating in gum. Eh? President wife, they blow it back. They use and rub your head. Say you follow our footstep. What? You follow our footstep. But your mother did not know it was a mouth that put you in trouble. He said, Our father has given us a false inheritance. What you have inherited is as a result of what your father did. Today there shall be liberty. That your amen does not show you are free. Amen. I said there shall be liberty. Amen. Say our father have inherited lies. Somebody is coming out of lies. I say you are coming out of lies. Amen. In Matthew 27 verse 21 to verse 25. Matthew 27 verse 21. Look at it. Look at what fathers are doing to us. The governor answered and said unto them. Whether of the twine will ye that I release unto you. They were asking when they wanted to nail Jesus. Whether they should release the thief Barabbas or Jesus. They said Barabbas. Pilate said unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all say unto him, Let him be crucified. Next verse. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. Hear what he said. When Pilate saw that he could not prevail, he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made. He took water and washed his hand. Listen to this very well. Before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Look at the next verse. Hear what he said. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and our children. There are decisions your father has made that is affecting you. Imagine innocent children that were not born. They say the blood of an innocent man should be on their head. Do you know where your father went before they born you? Where 
Are you aware of the decision that was taken? Look at that scripture. All the children that were born, they say the blood of innocent persons should be on their head. The children were not there when the decision was making. This is, this, this, the children were not part of the evil, but the children are the ones suffering from the decision. What are you suffering from? That's why you have to write the name of your village, the name of your family, and break out this morning. It's a very dangerous prayer we are going to pray after now. Ah, I pray for somebody, you will break out. I say you will break out. What is foundation? Foundation affects us as a result of our parents' ignorance and selfishness. What is foundation? Foundation is a platform prepared by our ancestors without our decisions. Some of you don't even know the meaning of your name. You don't know the meaning of your name. It was a, an ancestral decision. What shall we call this family? A family that war will never end. And they say, he say, and then they burn you. You find out that in the village, you are always fighting. They transport you to Lagos. They knew why they transported you to Lagos. You are still fighting. You have changed about seven compound now because of fight. Even the current one you are writing, they, they ask you to write undertaking because you have broken seven persons' head. You don't know it's your foundation that is affecting your life. Praise God. Can I show you signs that you are under foundation? Number one, when you see anybody dying a short life, it's a sign of foundation. Number two, when you find out people going through marital distress, broken home here and there, there is a foundation. Now, if you have a broken home, check it. It is either your grandmother or your great-grandmother also had the same thing. It is a foundational thing. That's why you have to pray. To look for a husband without coming out of that foundation is an error. Number three, when you find that there is difficulty in making progress in your life, it's a sign that you are under foundation. Number four, when you have constant failure at the edge of success, it's a sign that you are under the attack of a foundation. Number five, when you find out that there is a collective family captivity, your, family, your sister is suffering this, another one is suffering this, your brother, if there is something that resembles each other, you call it family collective captivity. It is a sign that you are under a foundation. Am I blessing somebody? What causes foundational problem? Number one, evil altars. Evil altars can cause it. When there is an altar erected in the family, and the poor libation. I say from today, this altar is in charge of this family. They call the name of your family, and that's the name you are bearing now. If you go abroad, that altar will find you. Number two thing that can cause evil foundation is anger. When somebody just says something in anger and pronounce a curse upon his children and children, children, it can form an evil foundation. That's why you have to be careful what you are saying. Don't trust your child. Somebody came here and told me, he said, only the child you have in your womb you should trust. They said, a child was carried at the back. At Alaba, Alaba, Alaba Suru. And then, the child at the back, big, uh, what do they call, stockfish, and was eating. And the mother didn't know. So the people that were passing said, uh -uh. This one you're picking the chopped stock fish. If I let her reach us first, the mama shouted, Stock fish? Now, what if the woman has sworn? I swear my picking no karam. If it karam, make sure something happen. All this thing will happen. So when you swear, or you are in anger, and you take a decision, it can cause evil foundation. Number three, idolatry can cause evil foundation. Worshipping of idol can form an evil foundation. Now, what is the effect of evil foundation? Number one, it can make an anointed to still remain polluted. You can be anointed though, but there is a pollution in your life. Something will be polluting your destiny. Your destiny will be smelling. Number two, you have stagnated progress. Your progress does not continue. It stop, start again. Stop, start again. Stop, start again. Stagnated progress. 
Number three, you are always starting all over again. Anything you start. When you change your life, so some people are start all over again severally. Number four. You are blessed, but you are bound. Oh, look at this pretty sister. But nobody wants to marry her because her character is smelly. Oh, look at this intelligent boy. But he's an arm robber. Blessed, but bound. It's a sign that you are under attack. Number five. You never meet up with your contemporaries. All your mate has left you. What is the way out? Number one, you must to have a total separation from your family foundation. Total separation from your family foundation. That is number one solution. Total separation. So Jesus brought him out. He brought him out. Took him out. Before Jesus could open his eyes, he has to do a creative miracle. Created another eye. And then he asked him, can you see? He said, I see men like three. That's why people who have foundation, they always fail. Rise. And they rise again. They fall again. Foundation does not make a man to have a stable life. He said, I cannot see where. I'm seeing no, but they are like trees. That's what foundation does. You don't have steady progress. You always have a progress that is stagnated and then you start all over again. That's why you need to pray this morning. Tell somebody, say, you need to pray. Shout it to him, say, you need to pray. Number two, I'm talking about the way out. You must renounce the allegiance of your parents or your grandfather make through your name or through the blood. Why are they calling you that name? Why did your grandfather accept the name is bearing? So you have to break it so that you can be free. Thy name shall no longer be Jacob. You shall be called priest if you want to be blessed. Her name shall no longer be Sarah. She shall be called Sarah if she wants to be a mother of, any, of, of, of all nations. You too, you will not be called Abraham. You will be called Abraham. Finally, you must deal with the satanic priest in charge of your destiny. This one is very important. Everybody that is born in a family, there is a priest that is in charge of your destiny. As long as you are born in that family, there is a man that keep foul, you know foul, and pour the blood. I say, anyone that is born in this family, so shall it be. And then he will pour libation and pour the blood. That priest must die if you want to be free. A young man travel from Nigeria and get abroad. The moment they landed at the airport, he ran mad. They took him to emergency. They took him to don't he? So immediately they sent him back to Nigeria. As he landed in Muritala Airport, he became normal. Behold, Anabalis was at the airport. He said, Before your father died, he told me that none of you should leave this vicinity. When I look for you, I didn't see you. I sent madness to locate you and bring you back. Thank God you are back. You can never be mad as long as you are with him. Who is the priest of your family? Why is it that you can't marry? Why is it that you can't have a man? I prayed with a lady many years ago. I will be doing deliverance for this lady. A man will come. They will disappoint her. One day I was praying. And the Lord said, as she told you what her father covenanted out. The moment you are saying, former, who did your father covenanted you to? He said, Pastor, where child, there was one day, she's an Indian Wigan, where child, there was one day, I was in the school. Then I saw a snake passing, and I lodged back home. And I told my father, and my father took me to Annapolis. 
And the man did one thing like this. Then I saw a shadow. And he said, that shall be your husband. She has been covenanted. And me, I will be doing deliverance, sweating. Out! Did he say, I'm not going? I didn't know. Out! Loser! He said, I won't lose her. Are you the one that bind her? That's why I don't stress myself again. If I say out, it's not going. Now me bind you. Rise to your feet. Can you lift up your hand if you have been blessed? And begin to bless the name of the Lord this morning. Lord, I must come out of that foundation. Thank him, thank him. Because we need to pray aggressively. Everybody concentrate. Lord, we are doing All the media pressure. come for prayer except the one on the computer. Doing, Father, we Every member name. of the media come for prayer we except the ones name. on the computer. Lord, we, we need to pray. Lord, we, adore you, Lord. we need we to pray. We say thank you. We say thank you. Father, Lord, are you ready to pray? You. Yes, sir. Look up. Look up. Do you like the way your life is? Can I ask you a question? Do you know what is wrong with you? Some of you don't know. Once you put hand in business like this, give it one year, it will die. Did you know where your father went? Were you there where your father was making the decision? Who is suffering it now? Foundation is very powerful. I do not want you to toy with your life. Don't deceive yourself in this service very very important get the name of your village in three minutes the name of your family everything in three minutes because as I pray I wouldn't want anybody to be right if you have written your own hold it in your hand hold your own in your hand three minutes I said not much prayer we are praying just only three prayers and then you will see the hand of God. It is called Akachuku. The good hand of God. It's going to touch you this morning. Don't toy with your life. Women are rejecting you not because you are not handsome. Men are laying you and, and laying you aside. Not because you are not pretty. You are a white material, but there is something you need to fight. The distress you are facing in your marriage is as a result of the foundation that your grandmother laid, your grandfather laid. There was a cause on some people's family and they are not aware. You need to pray. If you are from a broken home, pray very well. Home. That evil must not repeat itself in your life. If your parents die mysteriously, you are the one I'm sent to this morning. If you notice that all your mates have passed you, you are among those God has commissioned me to deliver this morning. You are here. You look at your life. Doctor said nothing is wrong with you, but yet you have no child. My friend, there is a hand that must cut off from you to be productive. Write the name of your village, your family name. Then put your own name.
be adorable and it can also be detestable. I have a new experience. You have never recorded a testimony in your life. You have been to churches, but they never brought you up. That blind man has been to many pastors. Only Jesus brought him out. I am here to bring you out. Please don't discuss with anybody. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. If you find somebody discussing with you, separate from that person because what we live is life should not enter your life. We are talking about foundation here. If a power escape from one place, it will want to locate to another, relocate to another place. Have you finished writing? Please, obedient is important if you want to get results. Obedient is important. First of all, you have to separate yourself. You have to confess the sins of your parents. You didn't know what your parents did. Please, those of you writing, I want you to stop. Stop, stop, stop writing. Close your eyes. Live by obedience. At least in this service, just be obedient for this one. Close your eyes. Don't write again. Please, if you are writing, don't write. I beg you. Do not write again. I'm still seeing some people writing. Do not write again. Lift up that paper in your hand. Everybody.